Saturday night live streams. It's the D's taking on the Lions, the biggest home and away game. They are saying in the modern era, it might get topped on Sunday, but um, yeah, this game means everything. The ramifications are huge. I'm a little late to my live stream, so I'm gonna hop in now. I just put some eye drops in my eyes. So I'll wipe that out of, out of my eyes and then I'll get live and exclusive across the country. G'day guys, welcome back to the AFL live streams. Coming at you live on a Friday night. It is the D's taking on the Lions. I literally just got out of the shower. Sorry for the looping video. Yeah, super excited for this contest. It is the Lions who are in great form, taking on the D's who aren't, to be honest. We're not in great form, but the ramifications, boys and girls. If the D's lose, we'll finish fifth or sixth. We'll miss out on the second chance. And I personally believe that's your premiership credentials over. I literally don't think you win the flag if um, you don't finish in the top eight. Uh, in the, well, definitely not the top eight, but if you don't finish in the top four. So um, that means this is everything. This contest is everything. Oh, I've got the vlog going, the weekly vlog, the dust vlogs, watching a bit of Rob vlogs. Everyone in the chat is up and about. We all cannot wait. Um, yeah, come on D's, this is massive. Um, the stream is going absolutely bananas. There's been about 130 people in for most of the stream. And there it is. There it is. The D's have got it done. We're currently in second, waiting for the Swans results. We might be off to the G. Regardless, if the Swans win, I will be going to the SCG. And Stephen May is saying, to Dane Zorko, you've got to pull your head in, son. You've got to pull your head in. It's simple as that. It's as simple as that. But the D's have got it done. Em emphatic victory at the Gabba. And no one is giving Dane Zorko the time of day. All the D's boys are giving him donuts. The Pies cannot do it again. They can't do it again. Roger will be at the G. There's one point. Poor Druzy, it all comes down to this. Come on, Blues. Come on, Baggers. Go, Cripper. Williams, come on, Blues. I feel so bad. They need a score. A draw will do it. A draw will get them finals. They need to score. Durden, just get it to the line. You need, you need a score. He's hit how? Druzy's going nuts. Oh, where's the awareness? They just need a point, the Blues. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe they've lost by a point. Oh my god! I feel sick. I feel so sick for Carlton supporters. That is heartbreaking. Ah, oh, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Can't be long now. Cannot be long now till I wake up from this nightmare. Talk to me, mate. Surely, uh, what I just witnessed isn't a reality. It's quite literally the doomsday scenario. It was. Well, so I feel bad because I've been sort of... Uh, in, what's the word? Not encouraging. Enabling yeah. this scenario where I said, the Blues make the eight. Yeah. They win one game. It was one of those nightmare situations. You're looking down the barrel, you're going, well, we've got three tough games. And I'm like, it's such an even season. Even though you're coming up against the Ds, the Pies, the Lions, you pinch one. And you just think, even if we don't pitch one, there'll be an upset somewhere else. Like, the Hawks will be... Um, the dogs yeah, or the yeah, Giants yeah. will beat the dogs. Like there were so many. We were like a dollar twenty to make finals three weeks ago, even though we had three tough games because we just needed us to do a just little, one result. It's not even that big of an up. It wasn't we, even money, Carlton v Collingwood. Or so yeah. So to, to have no results go our way and then the brutality of the D's loss into just like that is soul crushing. It's changed my perspective on football forever. I don't know if I'll ever look at it the same way or myself the same way. <laughs> Or really, really life in general. So I'm a change man, and I don't think for the better. I think we all know Connor is 
the most energetic, up and about, glass half full person I've ever met. It's uh, it's tough. Somber. It's, it's a somber days. Very somber here at the but, Kazarak Pod. Uh, comment below. Let me know what what you reckon I should get into because um, football's quite clearly not for me anymore. Um, I don't know. Maybe fashion. Maybe I might become a bit of a fashionista. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Rog, let's get straight into it. The elephant in the room. Mm. The Blues. They had to win three games. Well, they had to we win had four one. games to out. Uh, Four games and we only needed to win one. We've you only been on two points, really. Yeah, you just that's needed right. a draw. Um, and you've bowed out of the finals after being in the finals for 22 weeks in devastating fashion. You were there for the Melbourne Carlton game. Cosy Pickett, you start. It hurts. It hurts. We're not making the eight. And you were there on Sunday. Talk us through how you're feeling. The heartbreak is legitimately numbing. Now I've never, I've never had a missus in my life, right? <laughs> bit of a, uh, bit of an asterisk across my name. But uh, so you know, your greatest romance I- is footy, and when you've been supporting the Blue Baggers for as long as I have, with such little joy, and then finally there's all this optimism. Ten years without a finals mm. dub, and all we're on twelve wins with four uh, games to go. We were eight and two at the start of the season. Yep. We're talking, we were talking it could be D's Baggers grand final and we're listening to Robbie Williams belt out Angels before <laughs> We were planned in the London, London Tavern Hotel beforehand and getting a hotel for afterwards. I might keep my booking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I used to love? What are they called? Deodora. Nah, yeah. One, <laughs> one, one of those brands, though. What are they called? Not Concave. Um, concave? Nah, those ones. Are they like, still around? Like X-Blade. 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 Yeah, you get them at the uh, Oz Kick Packs at the AFL store. Jersey yeah. shorts, socks, and uh, you get a free pair of boots. Ah, the potty. Well, we don't have cameraman Bailey, so I'm going sort of yeah. David Dobrik, sort of Logan yeah. Paul uh, vlog mode. But we've had Trent Bianco on the pod. Trent, how'd you go, mate? Loved it. Good fun. Best day of my life, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Trent, how was it watching your team kick Roger's team out of the finals yesterday? Well, I had Scotty in the back of my mind. Yeah. So just... <laughs> Let us get in and we'll, we'll help you out in finals. But, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> we made it to the four and kicked you guys out, so... Did you, um, do you feel the Carlton-Collingwood rivalry? Like, oh, you, so you grew up a pie supporter. Do you, do you buy into it? Oh, not really, no. Nah. Yeah. Um, I think it was worse back in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, and when they were belting each other. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> nah, it's still, it's still good fun, a bit of humour, so, yeah.